Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to this afternoon's update on Hurricane Flossie. So Hurricane Flossie is nearly a Category 3 major hurricane as of 4 p.m. this afternoon, with 110 mph per winds, northwesterly movement, and a minimum central pressure of 966 millbars. Taking a look at the latest cone, as we go into a 1 a.m. tonight, Flossie will become a Category 3 with 125 mph winds, 155 mph gust wind to the northwest. A weekend back to a 2 as we go into 1 p.m. tomorrow afternoon with 105 mph winds, 125 mph gust wind to the northwest. As we go into 1 a.m. Thursday morning, Hurricane Flossie will weaken down to the Category 1 with 85 mph winds, 105 mph gust wind to the northwest. A week into a tropical storm as we go into 1 p.m. Thursday afternoon. 65 mile per hour winds, 80 mile per hour gusting to the northwest. Going into 1 a.m. Friday morning, 50 mile per hour winds, 65 mile per hour gusting to the west northwest. A uh, flossy will begin to dissipate into a depression as we go into Friday 1 p.m. with 35 mile per hour winds, 45 mile per hour gusts, and then flossy will dissipate as we go into 1 p.m. Saturday afternoon with 30 mile per hour winds and 40 mile per hour gusts west of the Baja California Peninsula. So, taking a look at uh, watches and warnings, we have a tropical storm warning for far southwestern areas of the coast of Mexico in the blue shade area. And looking at impacts, looking at about 1 to 2 inches or 25 to 50, or 50 millimeters of rainfall in the light green shade areas across far southwestern Mexico, and about 2 to 4 inches or 50 to 100 millimeters of rainfall in the dark green along the immediate coastline of southwestern Mexico. Thankfully, Flossie is a little bit too far offshore for any major impacts, so impacts should be limited across the southwestern Mexican coastline. Uh, thanks for watching. Please stay safe and have a wonderful day, my friends.